Hi, and welcome back to the Buy Real Estate Philosophy. My name is Amit, and in this video, we're talking about the much awaited Ross Al Khaimah Marjan Island. So, I've received a lot of requests for Al Marjan Island, even though we did a couple of launches. For those of you who haven't checked out our address Al Marjan video, also Manta Bay, my major developer, these are some of the projects that we have covered. So, in this video, we're just going to go over all into Ras Al Khaimah, Al Marjan Island, why I believe it is a great place to invest right now, why it is a good opportunity, look at some of the numbers, go over the maps, and uh, get into the details to understand it further. Now, speaking about Ras Al Khaimah, Al Marjan Island, as we all know, the reason that this is such a hyped up area and for good reason is it's not just blank hype is because Ras Al Khaimah government managed to get wind casinos coming into Al Marjan Island. Now Al Marjan Island has been around for quite some time actually a lot of people who live in Dubai they already know they use it as a staycation. It consists basically of four islands and we'll get into the map to understand even more in-depth detail and I'll highlight all the islands and where the casinos coming. One of the great reasons again as I mentioned that area has a lot of hotels currently there's the Move and Pig, there's the Radisson Blue and of course there's a Hamptons by Holiday Inn and there's a multiple other hotels that are there as well and we have of course the Nikki Beach coming up Rosso Bay by Aldar if you haven't watched out our Athlon video Aldar is one of the biggest developers in the UAE they are Abu Dhabi based they have pretty much bought up most of the rights of all the properties in Al Marjan Island and they are basically heading up most of the projects over there of course except for a couple of developers and plots that are available over there now again speaking a bit more about the Win Casino so this casino will be a massive casino most likely to start operation in 20 27 and as i mentioned they have also purchased i believe 10 boeing planes and they will be rebranding it into win airlines and they will be using the ras al khaimah airport which is only 14 minutes away from the island itself these 10 boeing planes they will have around the world flights coming into ras al khaimah international airport and if you look exactly from downtown burj khalifa all the way to marjan island it's only around 45 minutes away so it's a great great investment for people who want to have a vacation home rest of the year maybe give it out on airbnb or have it for long-term rentals as well now a lot of people they come they say oh you know the price is too much we have to understand what the market is doing right in that area that is basically what all the developers are releasing at now a lot of people they say oh there's going to be a huge correction in my personal opinion i think their supply is still not that overridden obviously look they're smart a lot of income that is generated in that specific area is from real estate of course the you know the property authorities over there the regulatory authorities it's not dld because it's not dubai it's not the dubai line department it's the russell Khaima real estate government agency that's handling it look they are trying to ensure obviously that no matter how many tourists come in they can try to match up with that tourist demand and now will there be that demand i believe so as we all know the white population is increasing more and more people will want to have a staycation uae in general is seeing a lot of inflow from people from the west of course we have all these inflation problems all these political problems outside as well a lot of global unrest and people setting up shop here in dubai now all those things do contribute of course our thing as investors is to try to get in early in the future we'll also be doing an in-depth video tour of marjan island stay tuned for that video but as we can see over there there are still huge appreciation left there's still a lot of plus that are available all that uh, development will basically lead into capital appreciation and better rental years for our investments that we do today now, speaking about some of the projects that are available there of course as i mentioned we have address al marjan islands cancellation units might come we also have the beloved manta bay residences you can check out both those videos as well we also have units available by aldar over there in rosso bay nikki beach two three bedrooms i believe all the one bedrooms are sold out now but two and three bedrooms are available with sea view we have casa del mar from ellington and multiple other developers as well it really depends on what kind of price point you're looking for are you looking for it for yourself or a staycation or like an airbnb long-term rental so you can feel free to contact me to understand so we can i can better understand your requirements and then we can try to find a developer that matches your needs let's go towards the map and dive deeper into the al marjan island in ras al khaimah so we can get a better understanding this is basically al marjan island as you can see highlighted by the red dot over here and we'll look into another picture which outlines the islands but these are basically the four separate islands so this is uh, one island this curved c shape is one island this is on another island basically and this is another island so these are the four islands and as we can see a lot of the hotels they are highlighted already of course we have the double tree by hilton we have the hamptons by hilton as well this is basically where the address ulmer john is coming this is where manta bay is coming and this is going to be the island with the wind resort most likely over here this is where the wind resort is going to be as well of course over here we can see pullman resort we have a lot of resorts right next to them we also have the alhamra village which of course has the ritz Carlton, Ras Al Khaimah. Of course, we have the WA Ras Al Khaimah. So this is a very, very happening area. As you can see, this entire area, they have, you know, decided to make like a staycation area. A lot of amenities are coming around. And this entire area, as you can see from the 
the satellite imagery, there is still a lot of areas left. So this is why it's such a great area to invest in right now. Okay, this entire like lineup, of course, a lot of it is filled. A lot of it is filled. But look at all this area that's left. As that area keeps on expanding, this entire area, this entire area. Okay, this entire island will most likely be the entire island for the Wind Casino. But there might be some development here, some development here. All this area, as it keeps on expanding, that's the whole point of off plan. As the development happens, as more and more people come in, we're going to see definitely an uptick in capital appreciation and, of course, the rental values as well. And, of course, Airbnb is going to go through the roof as well, especially in 2027, where once this casino is basically a rollout and we are very close to the Ras al Khaimah airport as well. Now let's look at a different picture to make it even better. So as you can see in this picture is a much much better picture. This is one of the you know brochures for address uh, residences by Amar. So as we can see this highlights the islands even better. So this is island number one. Of course as we mentioned this is the you know the sea type island. This is going to be island number two. Then we have the Circle Island, and this is basically where the address of Marjan is coming as well, right? So this is where we have the address by Emar, of course, right behind it. We also did a video for Manta Bay as well. So Manta Bay, amazing project as well. It is by a Russian developer called Major, and this is basically where the, the Wind Resort is going to be coming. It is going to be a massive, massive building. Again, it is going to start operations in 2027. So this entire island, which is the fourth island, will most likely be completely dedicated to the wind resorts and casino this is just a tour of basically the marjan island and as you can see this obviously isn't like a completely accurate representation of the island as we saw in the map you know there is still so much expansion now imagine this is the complete vision for the island so right now you saw on the satellite images what it is currently and now you see what the vision for it is so you can imagine you know five ten years from now not even ten years but five years from now when all these projects start getting handed over all this greenery is done by the government and all these things are taken over we have this entire marina that's coming up over here all these kind of you know resorts all these things all these developments and once they're going to be handed over you can imagine that there is going to be huge amount of capital appreciation as i mentioned always rent until it's going to go much, much higher and most importantly this is going to be a staycation type area right people will come here as you can see it's a beautiful gorgeous area and if you haven't seen it in person if you look at the waters of Ras Al Khaimah they're much more blue there's a lot less pollution over there currently very beautiful and uh, stay tuned for our video where we actually go to the island and show it to you in person but so this, this was just a quick overview about Ras Al Khaimah in general there are a lot of developers there we have Ellington we have Amar we have Major more developers as well feel free to let me know in the the comments below reach me directly on my whatsapp to see what great opportunities are available in our john island in ross alfema thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye for now and you can conveniently reach out to me directly on my whatsapp by scanning the qr code at the top right corner